The following video shows guide dog's client Kirsten talking to the camera, pictures of braille devices and footage of various people reading braille. Hi, my name is Kirsten Busby and I suppose you could say I'm a student by day and an operatic soprano in training by night. The sun whose rays are all ablaze with ever living glory does not deny his majesty, he's gone to tell a story. I live with virtually no vision. My condition is called septo-optic dysplasia, an eye condition that's a part of it called optic nerve hypoplasia. I have a device called the Braille Sense Polaris, which is my main way of using braille for my music such as reading and learning scores correctly but i also use it for writing lists and important notes and things that i need to remember i first started learning braille in about kindergarten and for especially my early years of primary school i was learning Braille while the others were learning to read and write and I was keeping up with my classmates that way. But I didn't start learning Braille Maths Code properly until I was in about year six. If it weren't for Braille, I would not be doing what I'm doing today. With my singing especially, I wouldn't be able to read a lot of the complex scores that I'm required to read for operas or for choir. But also, I wouldn't be able to comprehend important details that I might need to know about. My advice for others, especially for young kids, is even though you might absolutely hate it when your vision teacher or your parents say you need to do something separately at school because you've got to learn braille, in the long run, it's a benefit to you. Believe me, I was in that same boat. I absolutely hated it, but now I couldn't think about it. Guide Dogs logo fading to braille dots that read guide dogs.